بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا وبعد question there are those who ascribe to Salafiyyah however when it comes to the people of Bid'a they are very lenient with them and gentle and you'll find them making hundreds of excuses for them however when it comes to their brothers and sisters from Ahlul Sunnah you'll find them constantly criticizing them and being harsh with them instead of being patient and gentle with the Salafiyyun what is your advice to these individuals Barakallahu Feekum uh, this is, to be honest with you, Ikhwan, uh, a problem that we find, and it's an issue that we find uh, in many of the communities around the globe, around the dunya, that uh, constantly the people of Sunnah are criticized for being harsh and criticized for being, uh, يعني, or having shidda. Uh, yet still, those same individuals who criticize the people of Sunnah for having shidda uh, have lenience and gentleness with the people of innovation and they themselves only have shidda with the people of sunnah which is a contradiction in terms considering it is the people of sunnah who are being accused of having that and that brothers and sisters uh, is and reminds us no doubt uh, of the statement of that imam muhammad ibn abdullah suwari who mentioned in those lines of poetry Say to the one who dispraises the people of Hadith and sees his morning and sees his day Aiban Ahlahu Waman Yadaihi. Dispraising and speaking ill of its people and those who claim it. Is it with knowledge that you say this? Explain to me. Or is it with ignorance? For indeed, ignorance is the characteristic and the character of the foolish. Will you dispraise those who protect the deen from the turruhat, from the, uh, mis uh, from the distortions and from the uh, uh, misconceptions that have been ascribed to the deen and to their statement and everything that they narrate every single alim and faqih has to return and thus brothers and sisters it is no doubt a, a contradictory manhaj that a person should dispraise Ahlul Hadith for being uh, shadeed and harsh yet still uh, they have gentleness with the people of hadith and with the people of sunnah uh, and uh, afwan have gentleness with people of bid'ah and only find having uh, themselves having harshness for the people uh, of sunnah we mentioned ikhwan in the session earlier today that allah azza wa jal has commanded us to be and to remain steadfast with the people of sunnah or you who believe fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be with the sadiqeen, be with the truthful. And that ma'iyya, that being with them, is that one, be, one is with them in the best possible manner. That if you're going to treat anyone, ikhwan, well, then it is the people of sunnah that we treat well. And that, no doubt, opposes that which we see the a'imma of Ahlul Sunnah being upon. Them having love for the people of sunnah and dislike and hatred for the people of bid'ah. Not brothers and sisters is the methodology and the manhaj of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Ahlul Bid'ati wal Dalala, Ikhwan, understand, are opening doors that are beridun lil kufr. There are doors or pathways to kufr. As the Salaf of this Ummah used to say, Al, al Bid'atu barid al kufr. Bid'ah is the thing that leads to kufr. How then are we going to be kind and gentle and loving? With individuals, Ikhwan, who open up a doorway to kufr. The Christ, the, when the Christians worshipped Isa, and when the Yahud raised Uzair and referred to him as Ibn Allah, how did that occur, Ikhwan? It didn't just occur overnight. Rather, it was a gradual process. That process beginning with bid'ah, beginning with, in, with innovation. And so, Ikhwan, the origin and the asl. Uh, is that Ahlul Sunnah are dealt with with the best possible manners. And that Ahlul Sunnah, Ikhwan, those characteristics that return back to Ukhuwa and brotherhood uh, and love 
and ta'awun return back to Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And that is, Ikhwan, from their hukuk and from their rights. The Ahlul Sunnah have loved Ahlul Sunnah. And as the Salaf used to say, that there is not a mubtadi in the dunya, illa wa huwa yabghadu Ahlul Hadith, except that he dislikes Ahlul Hadith. So if we see an individual ascribing himself to the people of Hadith and Sunnah, and his hatred is for the people of Hadith and Sunnah, and his bad mu'amala is for the people of Hadith and Sunnah, then no doubt he needs to check himself in relation, Ikhwan, to uh, the reality of his manhaj and his ascription to the Sunnah. For indeed, Ahl Sunnah, Ikhwan, have nothing but love uh, for the people of Sunnah, uh, regardless, Ayyuhal Ikhwah, of where they are and where they exist and where they dwell. Allah Ta'ala.